This coin is the single most important element of the 2023 NFL season. You might just say, hey, it looks like a normal coin. It acts like a normal coin. That may be right, but this coin will be determining the fate of every single NFL team this year. I am starting a new series here or continuing it, you know, doing what I do. And we're going to be predicting every single NFL game and the playoffs and crowning a Super Bowl champion with this coin of fate. How's it going, everybody? I am Jason of Jason's Realm here. Today, I'm back once again with my quarter of fate for week five of the Flip of Fate series, predicting every NFL game and crowning a Super Bowl champion. Remember, for those of you guys who don't know, heads is tail, or heads is the home team winning, and tails is the away team winning. Let's dive right into week five predictions as things are really starting to get interesting. All right, going to start off with heads as normal, and let's start off with the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders, this one in Washington. And the Commanders escape this one with a win. Up next, we have a big one here. The Jacksonville Jaguars, 4-0, going to Buffalo to take on the Bills. No, the Jaguars are defeated with a Buffalo win. Up next, we have the surprise contender, Houston Texans, going to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. And they get the win to tie with the Jaguars. Up next, we have the Carolina Panthers going to Detroit to play the underwhelming Lions. And this does not help their case any better, losing to the Panthers. Up next, we have the Tennessee Titans going over to Indianapolis to play the Colts in Indy, but the Titans get the win. Up next, we have the New York Giants going down to Miami to play the Dolphins coin. Who's going to win this? The Dolphins get a huge win in the AFC East race. Speaking of the AFC East, we'll stay in that division as the New Orleans Saints go to New England to take on the Patriots. And the Saints get a big win. Up next, we have a long-standing rivalry between the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. This one at Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh. Oh, and the Steelers get the win. Up next, we have the Cincinnati Bengals going to Arizona to take on the Cardinals after a huge win last week against the Niners. And the Cardinals get win number two in a row against two good teams. Up next, we have the Philadelphia Eagles going to Los Angeles to take on the Rams in SoFi. And the Rams are in free fall, losing three straight now as the Eagles get a win. Up next, the New York Jets go into Denver to take on the Broncos. Two quarterbacks within two years of starting a new or being on a new team. And the Broncos get the win here. The Jets fall to 0-5. What an underwhelming year for the Jets so far. Up next, we have the Kansas City Chiefs going on to Minneapolis to play the Minnesota Vikings. And the Vikings get a huge win over the Chiefs. Up next, we have the Dallas Cowboys against the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers are at home, but they have been having an underwhelming season. And it continues as the Cowboys get a big win. Last but not least for this video, we have the Green Bay Packers going to Vegas to take on the Raiders. But before I flip this coin, remember, after this, I will be showing a recap of the week. And I will be showing these standings up to this point in the series. So that we can take a look as to who's doing what and how the year is playing out. But here comes the flip for the Packers at the Raiders. And the Raiders get the win. All right, so here's your week five recap so far, and this is the teams that have won with the green next to them, won with the no green lost. So you can go ahead and pause if you want to take a look here, but let's go ahead and jump into the standings and take a look at some things of note. The Dolphins solely in the lead of the AFC East with the Jets at 0-5. The AFC North is becoming a dogfight right now. The AFC South, I mean, who would have thunk it? The Jaguars and the Texans both at 4-1. The AFC West, the Raiders in contention with the Chiefs tied with them. The NFC East, I mean, look at that. The Commanders and the Cowboys at, on top. The Eagles only at 3-2. And, and look at the NFC North. The Vikings alone ahead at 3-2. and two. Everyone else is 2-3 and three when the Lions were poised to have a huge year this year. And looking at the NFC South, pretty, pretty much what you would expect. The NFC West, though, the Seattle Seahawks on top of this division at 2-2. Two and two. Everyone else is 2-3, and three, or the Niners are last at 1-4. Well, that's about going to do it for me today. If you guys did like, don't forget to smash like and subscribe as it doesn't help me out a whole lot. Also, if you've missed any part of the series, down there I will be linking the entire playlist for Flip of Fate for this season. So go ahead and click on that and catch up on what you've missed. And I guess with that, I will see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.